extremely wide front tire requires also a very very wide triple clamp. First I will make the triple clamp from wood and later we make uh, metal ones. Making a triple clamp from uh, wood and having a bike with huge white tires, it's gonna look a little bit like a Flintstone motorcycle. A lot fast. After I have done the upper triple clamp, I'm gonna make uh, another one, the lower one. It's virtually a duplicate of the top one, only the, these two holes are a little bit bigger. Because the original front legs uh, are bigger at the bottom than they are at the top. Now I uh, finish it off, make it smooth and uh, then it should be ready. Nice and wide, but only temporary to see, um, to check out how wide it will become and how it fits with the fairing. Not that I need to have the R1 fairing on there, but I try to put back as much as possible. Not to have it uh, looking like an R1, but just to have it looking like a great looking bike, which it will. These are the standard clip-ons. Not sure if I will uh, use them, but uh, for now I uh, I will. But I have no idea what what I will build on it when when we go on the ice. But it's good for finding out the riding position 
and see if it's in its way by the by the fairings. Thirty-eight and a half centimeter. That means uh, about thirty-six centimeter wide rim or wide tire will fit in here. I'm probably gonna make it a little bit less in work and width. I am uh, pretty happy with the first set of triple clamps that I made. Uh, they are only a little bit too wide to fit in here, which uh, uh, partly will be help because when I make one from metal, it will only be this size. I made it now this big to be strong enough, so that lot will already go off. Uh, I can still make it about a centimeter less in width, which helps also a lot. I will test uh, it before I will make uh, another one, how wide it can actually be. Uh, the other thing that I want to try is uh, to move this a little bit like that, so this hole will be here. That is no problem going there. And that will has as, as an advantage that it will only get till here. Like I said before, it doesn't have to stay an R1 or that doesn't have to look like an R1. But uh, all the plastic, all the fairings that I can use will be a big advantage. So to keep an eye on it uh, already while preparing it and uh, uh, adjust wherever it is still possible. Um, we will have a big advantage later on when uh, making a good looking bike of it, which it already is. Um, so now I have to gonna make a new triple clamp. Well, I will make a adjustable to find out the exact, the right the dimensions and size. And um, that is the next thing on my list.